that knowledge is a light. And the light of Allah is not given to a sinner. The light of Allah is not given to a sinner. Knowledge is that light which, we, which gets us through this life. Uh, once I read a poem in which there was a debate. A poem in which there was a debate between knowledge and intelligence. Knowledge and aql. Between ilm and aql. Right? So aql gave its virtues and said, I'm better because of this, and I'm better because of this, and, I'm, and knowledge said, I'm better because of this. Who do you think won at the end? Come on, people. Aql. Aql? Knowledge. Knowledge. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Who says aql? Who says knowledge? What do you think? Aql. Knowledge one. You know why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al alim the all-knower. And the ilm comes from this attribute of Allah, al alim Whereas uh, aqala is not in the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you know why? Aql, aql is the word in Arabic for intelligence. Right? And Shaykh Hamza mentions what? That you know the Arabs, the Arab men, and when they have their scarf and they put those two round circles on top of the scarf to keep the scarf on the head, that's called iqal. What is it called? Iqal. And originally, what was an iqal? An iqal was uh, something that they would tie to the foot, like a chain that they would tie to the foot of a camel, and uh, it would be connected to a rope, and they would tie it so that that camel wouldn't run away. Is that clear? Now, why is the aql so? Uh, why is the aql called aql? Because it's confined within the iqal. Aql is confined. Whereas ilm is not confined. Why? Because ilm comes from al alim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa fawqa kulli zi ilmin alim. And above every possessor of knowledge, there is the all knowing subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which means what? That mankind can never end in learning and in knowledge. You can end in everything else, but you can never end in learning and in knowledge. Why? Because there's always someone above us and there's always something to reach to. Is that clear? And uh, Sheikh Samad mentioned that uh, Salahuddin Ayyubi radiallahu anhu, why did he succeed in rectifying the Muslim world in his days? What was the potion by which uh, things were sorted? He said, knowledge. He said, Salahuddin radiallahu anhu built hundreds and thousands of madrasas across the Muslim world. Hundreds of thousands of madrasas <coughs> across the Muslim world. That, that was the secret of success, knowledge. This ummah, every time it dropped, every time it dropped and it sunk, the only thing that pulled it out and revived it and brought it back to its honor was knowledge. The time of Imam al-Nawawi radiallahu anh, the Mongols came into Damascus. What did Imam al-Nawawi do? He didn't come out with his, uh, with his sword and jump on his horse. The scholar said, Akabba al ilm He threw himself upon knowledge, day and night. Why? Through that knowledge, he nurtured a people who came out and became the blossoming flowers of society. And our teacher, Sheikh Saleh, Farfur al Hassani radiallahu anhu, the great Imam, used to say, he used to say this in his days, he only passed away in 1986. He said, There is no jihad in our times except the jihad of knowledge. There is no jihad in our times except the jihad of knowledge. That's his quote. That's his statement. And look at how the Quran began. Iqra, read. You know, have people say, Don't read books, brother. Just come and sit in our gatherings. That's it. When there's an imbalance, things go wrong. And it's been seen. When there isn't knowledge with tasawwuf, it's, things have always gone wrong. People don't benefit. But people who have tasawwuf, inner realities and they seek them alongside knowledge, 
you see them succeed. Like the manhaj of Imam al-Ghazali radiallahu anhu. Like the manhaj of Imam al-Ghazali radiallahu anhu. He, he studied the outer sciences all his life. And this is why the scholars say that you should become a faqih before you become a Sufi. You should become a person of knowledge before you become a person of tasawwuf. Like Imam Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu, what did he used to say? He used to say, no one but a faqih should enter into our marketplaces. What did he used to say? No one except a scholar of fiqh should enter into our marketplaces. Because if you don't know uh, the law of buying and selling, don't come into the market. Don't come into the market. Because you're going to do things wrong. And the Prophet said, Tafaqahu qabla an tusawwadu. Become fuqaha. Learn fiqh. Study the science of fiqh. Gain in depth knowledge of your religion before you become leaders. Because once you become a leader, that's it. You're not going to sit down and open up your books and start studying. Fadlu al-ilmi khayrun min fadlu al-ibadah. And this is the medicine. This is the medicine and the cure of the illnesses and the diseases in our society. Until knowledge does not come back to our homes. Until knowledge does not come back to our communities. Until knowledge does not come back to our societies. Our state won't change. It won't change. Until people don't become people of knowledge, people of learning, people of study, people of tasawwuf, who claim tasawwuf and they boast about being jahil. Seriously, they boast about being jahil. They boast about not having any affiliation to knowledge. They don't have any affiliation to the Prophet if that's the case. They boast about it. You know, those people have books where people have reality. What reality? Empty reality, it's emptiness, nothing. It's a nothingness. Fadlul ilmi khayrun min fadlul ibadah. The virtue of knowledge is greater than the virtue of worship. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as He instructed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to ask Him, Rabbi zidni ilma, Rabbi zidni ilma, Rabbi zidni ilma. That's the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To ask increasement in knowledge. In knowledge. It's only through knowledge that we can succeed. Why do, why, why do our parents send us to school? So we learn. We, we pick up knowledge. Is that clear? Alhamdulillah.